Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in the last video, we actually saw how you can install ROS2 Foxy along with ROS1. Now in this video, we'll be focusing on the domain ID. So now what exactly is the ROS domain ID? As you know, in DDS, the primary mechanism for having different logical networks share a physical network is known as the domain ID, right? So let me explain it to you via block diagram. Now let's say uh, I have one system over here in which I have first node 1 along with it I have one node 2. The same will be there in system 2 as well. We have node 1 and node 2. I have a common network layer. First, we'll define what exactly is node 1. So node 1 over here is our publisher and node 2 will be our subscriber. Whenever the data is sent by the node 1 of system 1, it is received by the node 2 of the system 1 along with the node 2 of system 2. But what if we have different domain IDs? That will mean in the same physical layer, everything will be separated by this domain ID. Let's say if I have ID over here 0 and I have ID over 1. So the data that will be coming from node 1 of system 1 will be going to just node 2 of system 1 and system 2 will be separated for system 1. Now let's get back to the uh, ROS documentation. How exactly can you choose your domain ID? So in the short version, in ROS2, uh, you can choose the domain ID between 0 and 101 that are inclusive. And if you want to understand this topic in more detail, I'll be giving the link in the description below. So in case of choosing a domain ID, they also have provided a longer version. So the basic explanation is that a single UDP port is an unsigned 16-bit integer. That's why the highest number of port that can be allocated is 65535. But by default, you can see the Linux kernel uses these ports. That means the domain IDs from 0 to 101 and 215.2.232 can be safely used without colliding with the ports. Why exactly are we not using from 215.2.232 is, let's say if someone changes the local port range, right? So this upper band will be affected. That's why we always consider from 0 to 101. Now in order to understand more about the port number using domain ID and participant ID, they also have provided us calculator that you can go through. Now let's see in the live demo. We'll be using the same talker and listener command from our previous video. The link is in the description. You can see we are able to subscribe to the topics. Let me just change the domain ID. So for this, I'll use export ROS domain ID equals 5. Now when I run talker and listener together, you see there are no packets coming to the listener. Now if I export ROS domain ID 5, in the second terminal as well, you see the listener is able to hear those things. Now the best practice is to actually add in your bash rc file itself so that at least in your local system everything will be running on a single domain id. Now I'll be editing my alias itself. If you want to understand how exactly I have created this alias, you can check out the previous video. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about this process and uh, also suggest me some other videos that I should make. Do like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.